Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Veda and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel, I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to get out of debt and simplify our financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Well, hello everyone and happy bonus content Tuesday. Um, I hope that your week is going really well so far and I hope that you got to enjoy the eclipse yesterday. That was super fun. Um, we are, we live in the DFW area of Texas and so we were right in the path of the, um, I think the total, wow, English, the total eclipse. I don't think it was happening for everybody. I'm not 100% sure on all of the details because frankly, prior to yesterday, I was kind of like cynical about it. Um, not cynical. Like I just was like, why is this such a big deal? Eclipses happen all the time, but it ended up being a really fun experience. And, um, I got some really cool shots of it too. And, uh, oh, I, you know what? I'll go ahead and throw them up, um, on the screen. I had like a couple of different progression shots when it was covering it. So it was really fun to experience. Um, I also am going to just briefly address the ginormous elephant in the room, and that is the fact that I have the jankiest manicure right now. I have not updated it this week, and I have a Band-Aid on my hand. Um, I don't know what that was. Um, I like scraped my hand this morning when I was getting something out of one of my cabinets, and it just was not pleasant for having on <laughs> on film, so I decided to just cover up with a Band-Aid. But anyways, today, um, because of the way that the weeks work out, we have another four-week video. Um, week? Four? Week? Four? No, four video week. Four-week video. Four, <laughs> four video week. Um, so we're going to have two bonus content videos this week. Uh, today's is the mini budget with me where I walk you guys through the process of budgeting my side income. Um, I did mention in last week's video that this does change from month to month because we um, kind of alternate what we decide to put our side income toward in terms of um, how it hits our budget from a low priority sinking fund standpoint, because we do mostly throw my side income at our low priority sinking funds, things like dining out, family fun, uh, dates, home decor, um, all kind of stuff like that is up for grabs as far as what we decide from month to month we're going to put the side income at. Um, and so if you want to watch last week's video, it's going to give you kind of like a little bit of a precursor into what this one's going to look like for us as well. Um, and so, you know, it just kind of gives you an idea of, of how this whole process works. We do throw a good chunk of money toward taxes and back into my business because I do need supplies to make my business function. Um, but then what remains after that, um, and it's usually about 50% goes toward a lot of different sinking funds. So, um, before we jump in though, um, I did have a giveaway in last week's video. I was giving away and I don't have it next to me, so I can't even show it off. But, um, uh, one of the cash trays that I use from funds and fun, it's an Etsy shop. I will link it below if you're in need of a cash tray. Um, and I, what I chose was just a random number um, based on how many comments I received in the video. And the winner of last week's cash tray giveaway is Marisol. So I will leave her comment up on the screen here. Now I screen grabbed her comment. Um, and so Marisol, I, I'm, first of all, I hope I'm pronouncing your name properly. Um, if I'm not, I apologize. Um, if you just send me an email um, my email is the.simple.budgetyt at gmail.com and we will work out the details of getting the cash tray to you. So congratulations to that winner and stay tuned for the end of the video. I will announce another uh, little mini giveaway as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this budget. I do want to apologize for the video going up later today than I was anticipating originally because... Um, I ended up in a phone call with my sister that was hours long 
And um, so I'm not filming this when I wanted to film it originally in my day, which means that I won't get to edit it and upload it until later in my day as well. So, but you know what? It's one of those like, whether you are really close friends with your siblings or you just have really close friends, it's one of those conversations that just felt good, you know? Like you're just chatting about nothing and everything. And um, I mean, it probably could have gone on significantly longer than it did. It was just such a fun combo to have. And so I was not about to interrupt that and be like, um, excuse me, I have things that I have to do today because it just felt so good to be chatting with her. So definitely worth the delay, but I do, you know, I like to try to have these videos up by noon. And as I am filming this after noon, that is not going to happen. So anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right in here. I'm going to just grab out. Oh, there it is. I'm going to grab out my little sheets here and zoom you guys in so that you can see just a little bit better um, than what you can on the screen right now. So I will do that and we'll get into the budgeting. So um, just to go, kind of go over the baseline structure in case you didn't watch last week's video, um, every week we have to set aside uh, taxes, tax money, because this income is untaxed income from Etsy and YouTube, actually. And you'll see that when we get to my YouTube paycheck a little bit later in the month. Um, taxes, we've set aside 25%, and we were pretty spot on, actually, when we had our taxes done uh, just recently for last year. We had a little bit of a return, but nothing much, which is fine by me, because it means that I was holding on to my own money for the whole year, um, and they weren't overtaxing me very much. So that worked out fine. Um, right now, 5% of our side income is going toward our debt. If you watched my most recent debt update, you will know that we just have one debt left that we're paying off, and that is a 401k loan. And so 5% um, of our side income goes toward that as well. And then we do a breakdown, um, and I have played with these numbers over the course of time of having my Etsy shop, but I feel like it's, we're in a pretty good zone right now. So 15% gets put aside for materials. 5% is going to be put aside for equipment. I used to have this bumped up to 10% because I wanted to make sure that I had enough set aside for a printer because um, that's the largest expense for my shop right now in terms of equipment is, you know, I need to be able to print products. Um, and so I really wanted to make sure that I needed, I had the money to replace my printer in the event of an emergency. And I have that now and it's sitting in a high yield savings account. And so um, now I'm putting 5% a month toward equipment and then 5% goes toward shipping supplies. Um, and that's just all the basic, like the tissue that I wrap the things in, the little plastic that I wrap each of the, um, uh, each of the actual products in, um, shipping envelopes, shipping labels, all that kind of stuff kind of falls in this, under this umbrella. And then right now, because it's, kind of a high priority in our world, um, saving for house projects that kind of are important to our family and things that we wanna make sure that we're um, setting aside money for. Um, and so we put 15% at that. From what remains, this is our priority list this month. So my husband and I do get some spending money if the paycheck allows. Um, and then I have a gold amount from Etsy and YouTube this month of being able to put, it was um, 45, it, I'm sorry, it was $50 for vacation and then I think $96 for vacation. But I was able to put uh, $5 at vacation last week and $4 at family picks last week. And so the numbers have dropped now. Now I need $45 for the rest of the month and $92 for the rest of the month for family picks. In addition to that, um, we are also saving for dates and home decor, but those are, these are lower priorities. Obviously, we want to prioritize the things that actually have a gold dollar amount in mind. That's kind of important to us, um, but if I can do it in a paycheck, I will try to throw a little bit of money at all of these. We'll just kind of see how this plays out. So, Without further ado, we're just gonna jump right into this. So I'm gonna grab, grab my calculator. 
you guys aren't really going to be able to see it no matter which way I put it, but I'll put it off to the left here because you can sort of see it there. So my paycheck from Etsy this week was $149.19. And so that is from which we start everything. So $149.19 and I need to get 25% of that. And that is what goes toward taxes. So it's $37.29. I just do a whole dollar amount and I always do... I always round down. So it's $37 for that one. And that is all from this section here. Then I need to figure out what 5% is because 5% actually covers a couple of expenses here. So um, 149.19 times 5%. So it's $7.45, but I only, um, again, I just use a whole dollar amount because we, we're not dealing in change except for this 19 cents here. And the night, whatever change I have in this portion, like whatever change I have in my paycheck goes toward debt. So it's $7.45 for is 5%. I'm just going to go with the $7 and then I'll pull the change from here. So 19 cents. So $7.19. And I'll just move that down here to the total for the debt section. And again, I know these are small numbers, but this kind of stuff adds up. So make sure that if you have a side income that you're budgeting for, you do every penny like this. Because I promise you, while it may seem like a little bit, and actually last week was even smaller. Last week was like $54 or something. But those dollar amounts add up. And it makes a difference in the long run if you are actually throwing the percentages where they go, you will see how quickly that stuff adds up. So don't abandon the process just because the dollar amount you're dealing with is small. So I promise you it pays off. Um, okay, so then we figured out that up here, 5% was $7. So I'm gonna move that down to equipment and shipping supplies. So $7 here and $7 here. And both materials and house project are 15%, so that's gonna make it easy for us as well. Um, so 149.19 times 15% is $22.37. So we'll just do $22 for materials and $22 for house project. So now we're gonna go ahead and subtract and figure out what our remainder leftover is. So 149.19 minus $37 minus $7.19 minus $22, $7, $7.22 is $47 remaining. So in a situation like this, where I've mentioned before that we have um, a whole dollar amount that we are really trying to make sure that we are saving for from these things, I put most of my effort here. So I'm just going to go ahead and say of this 47, I'm going to split $30 between vacation and family picks. So each of them are going to get $15, which leaves me with $17. Um, because I had 47 after all of this stuff up here. And then this was, you know, minus 30. So I have $17 left over. So I will probably, what I'm going to do actually is just do, let's say $5 for my husband and I. Um, yeah, actually, I probably should have just done it over here. So $5 for each of us. And that's going to leave me with $7. And so I'm just going to put that toward um, home decor because our dates envelope is actually doing really well right now. And I am kind of in the mode of wanting to save for new couch pillows. I've mentioned this before. But also like any flowers that I'm buying for our like our flower gardens um, also comes from home decor. So I kind of want to offset that as well. So that's what I'm doing there. So let me just make sure, so we've got, I just wanna make sure that this all adds up to 149.19. So 22, seven, seven, 22, seven, seven, 15. So that's 105. Okay, so now we have 105. 7, 19, and 37. 
and that's a 149.19. So we zero based budgeted. We planned every dollar of that 149.19 and this is how I make this work for me. So like I said, these videos are not gonna be very long because it's a pretty simplistic breakdown because I'm not working with like our main paychecks. Um, and we are asking these paychecks to do very little apart from um, paying taxes and paying back into the business. Um, but it works when you add this stuff up because now I've, I started the month with a $50 goal to put toward vacation. And after this week, I've reduced it to $30 for the rest of the month. And that was after two small Etsy paychecks. This is relatively small for me. Um, and again, with family picks, I started, um, I started the month with a $96 goal, and after this week, um, let's see, we are now looking at having to come up with $77 for the rest of the month. And I have three Etsy paychecks remaining, because this is a, like a magic month for me for Etsy. So I have three paychecks for the rest of the month to be able to achieve these goals, as well as making sure that we, you know, have some fun money, some fun spending money and home decor money and stuff like that. So like I said, it can be tempting to just disregard the small amounts, but if you, if you apply the principle, it really does benefit you in the long run. I promise, promise, promise. So stick to the guidelines because, um, you know, the, the discipline of doing it pays off on the back end, I promise. So Anyways, that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys back out and we will finish out this video. All right, so um, now I'm gonna go ahead and announce my giveaway for this week's video. And what I decided, um, actually based on a lot of your comments on my videos as well, um, we have a we always are we have a lot of conversations on my channel surrounding groceries and grocery budgets and grocery money and all of that sort of thing. And what I decided to do um, this week was just really simple. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna give this week's giveaway winner a twenty five dollar um, just like Visa gift card that you can use anywhere. Um, I mean, you can use it on anything. I don't care if you spend it on yourself, but I was just thinking, oh, $25 toward groceries would be really nice because we do have conversations about inflation and how difficult it is to live in this environment where our pay is not increasing, but our cost of living is. So that's what this week's giveaway is, a $25 gift card to um, a, v a $25 Visa gift card. So like I said, you can use it on anything you want to. I just thought, oh, it'd be really nice if it could offset somebody's grocery bill one week. And the only thing that you need to win, um, it is open to everybody. I don't know how far $25 would go like in Canada or, um, the UK, but I'll send it to you. I don't care. Um, but all you have to do to win is to be a public public subscriber of my account, of my YouTube channel, and also to leave me a comment down below telling me how you would like to use this money if you want it. And I I don't pick based on the best answer. I don't do that. I just choose at random because I could never, like literally my heart would be like, you win and you win a gift card and you win a gift card and you win a gift card because I just, I'm not built to be able to choose. So I allow the computer gods to choose by just plugging in the number of comments and choosing a random number. But, um, but yeah, so that's all you have to do is to just leave me a comment down below, be a public subscriber of my YouTube channel and tell me how you would spend the $25. So even if you're like, you know what, I haven't gotten a pedicure in a really long time and I'm going to put it toward that. Like I just, that's spectacular. Just tell me how you would spend the $25. So that's it. That's all you have to do to be entered. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Even if you, you know, don't want to be entered for the $25 or whatever, um, just come say hi because I love seeing you there. Um, and I am actually going to be back with you guys again on Thursday for my Etsy and YouTube stuffing from the month of March. So you'll get to kind of, you know, I mean, all of this work that we do from a you know week to week standpoint, 
is eventually stuffed. And so we'll be doing that from the month of March. And obviously my categories will look a little bit different because like I said, the the um, low priority sinking fund priorities change from month to month as well. So anyways, I look forward to seeing you guys then. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I can't wait to be back here with you again. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.